Hey guys and welcome to Desi Lifestyle in Europe. My name is Furkan and today's topic is working on an oil rig. Excellent pay and benefits are a primary reason that so many people are attracted to the offshore industry. Nevertheless, bear in mind that getting hired on an offshore rig is very competitive and many employment services recommend to obtain experience with at least one onshore project first. The offshore industry primarily consists of two industries, the offshore oil and gas industry and the offshore renewable wind energy industry. The offshore oil and gas exploration and production industry offers a wide range of occupations for both entry level and experienced professionals. Offshore occupations are very challenging and may demand working long hours in difficult conditions, but the rewards are great in comparison to onshore jobs. You must be over the age of 18 to work on an oil or gas rig. To work offshore, you must pass an offshore survival and firefighting course, also known as emergency response training or basic offshore induction and emergency training. Offshore occupation can broadly be classified into four categories that include exploration, design and construction, installation, and operations and management. Offshore professionals are employed to work on an offshore installation such as oil platforms. Offshore occupation include different levels of emplacements in the field of production, drilling, rigging, surveying, piping, welding, diving, quality check, as well as in health and safety, cooking and support staff. Typical kinds of job you will find in the offshore oil and gas industry include In the management part, you have offshore installation manager and operations team leader. Then you have all sorts of engineers like offshore operations engineer, offshore rig engineer, offshore structural engineers. Then you have operations coordinator, you have dynamic position operator, automation systems specialist, process engineers, drilling engineers, rigging engineers, wellhead engineers, corrosion engineers. And then you have the operators, power last control operators, control room operators. So you have technicians, production technicians, maintenance technicians, field technicians, instrument technicians. And you have offshore piping designers, QC inspectors, offshore estimators, you also have crane operators, scaffolders, coxswains, helicopter pilot, pump operator, equipment operators, offshore pipe fitters, well services supervisor, driller, roustabouts, mud engineer, direct hand, geologists, welders, electricians, offshore safety coach, cooking staff, and health gear stuff. There are not many non-working hours on an offshore rig. All rigs operate continuously. In offshore operations, workers often work 7 to 14 days in a row, 12 hours a day, and then have 7 to 14 days off. For offshore rigs located far from the coast, crew members live on ships anchored nearby or in facilities on the platform itself. When you are offshore, caution in everything, even during non-work hours. For instance, steep steps connecting the different levels of offshore platforms often get slippery from humidity or rain as do catwalks and other surfaces so it's important to hold onto railings and move about at a safe pace taking pictures on an offshore oil rig is serious business 
due to the risk of flammable gas coming up the oil well, normal electronics are banned outside the living quarters. Smartphones in some locations are strictly forbidden and regular cameras require hot work permits be opened prior to use. Every rig I have been on has internet access, so you can contact your family and friends in your free time. Keeping an oil rig operational for 24 hours a day means that it's crucial for offshore personnel to be at the top of their game at all times. Generally, alcohol and non-prescription drugs are completely banned. Anyway, you are allowed to smoke in special smoking compartments. Compensating for the long work days are excellent, delicious meals prepared by well-trained chefs. Not surprisingly, the seafood from a given region is the primary offering in buffet-style dining area. But offshore rigs also provide a wide range of more standard regional fare such as eggs, bread, salads, meats, and potatoes. One thing's for sure, you won't go hungry on an offshore rig. So in conclusion, Working on an oil rig is an absolutely great choice for some people due to its high pay and general lifestyle. It's not a good job for everyone though, so make sure you think it would be worth it for you before you get your first job on a rig. The decision is for you to make. Good luck and bye for now.